Hi guys. So this video is all about gouache. I finally succumbed and got some gouache. I had always loved the texture and effect of it. And when I went to the local art store in Kaiserslautern and I had a little extra cash, I thought, let's give it a shot. And so since I'm pregnant, you can see the huge belly. Um, I wanted to create some black and white monochromatic um, pieces for the baby because with my first son I did some black and white doodles nothing really fancy just on regular printing paper with a sharpie I created some shapes geometric shapes and spirals and dots and he would always stare at it and I had done research because I studied a little bit of early childhood education and development and whatnot and it is known that babies love the contrast of black and white and then the next color they see is red. So I wanted to create some animal monochromatic paintings with gouache and I thought it would be a really great way to see how the medium works and if I liked it and not and well I love it. The first time I tried I did a landscape and that was a complete fail. I enjoy landscapes but it's not my forte. And so then I went and I started doing a giraffe which you can see here. And the second one were the elephants, which I decided to record the process of it. So I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Hey everyone. So I had already created the sketch of it in my new Mosri mixed media sketchbook mm, and this is uh, an A5 I believe size sketchbook so it's quite enjoyable to work in a small format especially when you're doing tests you're not quite sure how it's going to turn out so and I got this sketchbook mainly for gouache I didn't want to mix um, watercolor with gouache in my sketchbooks and I'm, you know, I like that type of order. So I got a different sketchbook and I had seen Mosri sketchbooks throughout Instagram and on YouTube. So I just wanted to try out the paper and see if I liked it. And so far it holds water really well and I'm quite happy with it. The only problem is with scanning, but you know, that's just my particularity. So here I did a very light wash for the background. I didn't want to have a white background. I wanted a little bit of a grayness to it. And I, it's a very, very, very diluted um, wash there. And I'm only using black and white. And the wash paints that I'm using are from Schmincke. So they are artist grade wash, not acrylic. So they do, um, they do move around when wet. So you always need to wait and, dry, and let them dry. And so then I had mixed already a larger batch of dark gray, which I wanted to use as like the foundation color. I was working a lot as if it were acrylics. This is what I usually do with acrylics. I pick the mid-tone and then from there, I go back and forth with the darker tones and the lighter tones. And that's what I really like about gouache is that um, you can just easily go back and add darks and then add a, a lighter color and it's just really enjoyable. I mean you have to get used to it in the beginning because I'm very used to using watercolors and I'm very used to that process but at the same time for my painting parties it is all with acrylics so it's it's just going back to that type of, of medium you could say in that process. I've never painted with oils because it just takes too long to dry so that's why I've never really tried them out. I'm too impatient. I was very happy with how fast the gouache dries and allows you to apply more layers. And I'm on my phone. I always have the reference picture on my phone. I, for some reason, I prefer to have it on my phone than printed or on the computer screen because it just it just feels I don't know. It's more comfortable. You can you can zoom in. You can zoom out and. You just have it there on your hand and you can 
increase the, the brightness of the screen or decrease it, so it's just a very practical way to look at a reference picture. And I wasn't going for a highly realistic type of painting, it was more of a children's book type feel to it. I did want a little bit of realism to it, but I, I really, what I really love about gouache and when I see gouache paintings is just the, the like the, the painterly splats of paint and portions of color. I just love that effect and that's what I wanted to really do here. And so it was a lot of fun. I mean, I had to be very careful. I was using smaller brushes. I was using all synthetic Da Vinci Nova brushes. A size four was my biggest brush, and then a one and a zero. I started with the four to do the background, and then the foundation color, you could say the midtone color. And then I tried to do some of the, um, different tonalities with the four, however I found it to be too big for the baby elephant. So then I switched to the one. And at times I found that a bit too small, so I'm probably going to have to get an in-between brush, especially for this notebook, I think. Um, it would be very good to use an in-between brush. Excuse me. Oh, being pregnant. Oh boy. I feel like I'm running out of air. And um, so I added a lot of the darks and I focused mainly on the darker colors and where the shadows are and where the creases and the different tonalities of the elephant skin because it's not just a uniform gray, obviously. There are parts that have a more speckled, um, kind of like freckles you could say. There are parts that have dry skin which would appear lighter and there are parts that maybe have some mud on them so they would be darker. And then of course the shadows. Um, and so I was just playing around with different intensities of dark gray. And of course when you're making gray you always just have to add a little bit of black at a time because black immediately, if you add too much, it's too dark. So just a little bit, I would constantly add just a little bit. And then I was also adding a lot of water because I wanted there to be soft transitions with the different tonalities of gray, especially where the shadows were. I wanted the base shadow work, you could say, not the detail work. There's the, the foundation, then there's the shadow work, and then there's the detail work. And so with the second layer, which is the shadow work, I really wanted a more watercolory effect of transitions because with gouache, it is difficult to blend um, because it dries so quickly. Uh, so I would add a lot of water and just keep on going back and forth, and back and forth. And first, as you can see here, I was working primarily on the baby elephant. And then I would only go on to the, the mama elephant. And now I had a lot of fun. I mean, I, I, at times I was getting worried, thinking, oh no, the contrast between the light and the dark areas is too vast. But then again, that is the nice thing about gouache. That is the, the aspect that I enjoy so much with gouache, even though it's not something that I particularly tend to do a lot when I'm painting, especially not with watercolors. With watercolors, I love that smooth and easygoing transition between light and dark. I don't like it to be one intensity and then boom, right next to it you see a completely different hue. That I'm, I don't like. However, with gouache, I do enjoy doing it. And I felt that the way that I was painting was a bit different. It did feel a little bit like when I'm painting with acrylics, but still. I've noticed that with each medium, my painting style changes drastically. So it was a lot of fun. Um, and then here I'm working on one of the front legs and adding a bit more of darker areas in the back, in the bottom area, in the back leg, some fine lines where you see the muscle and just keep it, it's, just, it's a go, it's a back and forth, and it can be a long process. So here I will be speeding it up again for you so you don't have to sit with me the whole hour that it took me to go back and forth to paint this. So 
So then once I felt like I needed a little bit of a break from the baby elephant, I went on to the mom. And unfortunately, I mean, I don't know if this happens with all of you that use washi tape. I should have used some other type of tape for the border, but it was just this one area kept on peeling off and it was really bugging me. So at some point I just finally take it off. I mean, it had already dried that area, so I didn't really need the tape anymore. Yeah, um, in general, I would say between the two elephants, I enjoyed painting the mom more than the baby because it was a bigger area and I didn't really have to be so careful with my lines. My mother, who is also an artist and a painter, and she, her main focus is with miniatures, realistic miniatures. Oh my God, I have watched her and some of her um, colleagues, you could say, fellow miniaturists, when I was a child and we would always go to retreats. And it is just amazing, the precision, the exactitude with which they paint and the time it, they would paint in oils. I mean, not only is it miniatures, but it's miniatures in oils. And it would take forever. It would take so long to make, I don't know, let me look at my ruler here, how big a painting would be. It would be like 10 by, let's say 10 centimeter big painting and just you would take a magnifying glass to it and you would see this intricate detail i remember once joan willies which was my mother's mentor and teacher and very close quasi family um relative i used to call her auntie joan she um she painted this one painting i believe it was of a belly dancer and i was mesmerized how she painted the translucent transparent fabric that she was holding. It was absolutely gorgeous and the amount of detail because parts of it I believe was, um, oh, what is it called, that type of fabric that is um, handmade. Oh my God, pregnancy brain here. I can't even remember the word. Um, lace, part of it was lace. It was like a lace border. It was just, it was perfect. I mean, I remember the worst insult that I could tell her was that this looked like a picture because it's completely discrediting all of her work. It was just a small painting. And the technique, I was always just baffled by it. And here I'm like, I don't know how old I was. I was probably a young kid. I was like six, seven, the age my daughter is. And then also later on, and I even tried to learn, she, she would also teach me and I would spend a lot of summer vacations there with her, like a week I would stay there and I would attend her classes and it was very nice to be in that atmosphere of artists just all sitting in one room and where does she live? It wasn't St. Pete, it, Clearwater, Clearwater, Florida. She had transformed her garage into a studio with a patio back door to her backyard and she had birds that were always singing and chirping and her house was jam-packed of art supplies. Every single drawer that you would open, you would find tubes of oil paints, paint brushes. Uh, unfortunately, they would paint on ivory or a synthetic ivory. Mm, that's not very good. Um, but then she transitioned into synthetic ivory or whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't paint oil, so I don't know. Um, everywhere. Frames, borders, tapes, pencils. And then she was always trying new things. As artists, you know, you're always trying different things, different technology that comes out, scanners and cutters and scissors. I mean, it was just, for me, it was a dream that they would... It was an art store that you could live in. And so, so much fun trying her newest gadget or newest material or newest paper. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, last year she passed away. God rest her soul. So yeah, so back to the elephants. Sorry for the sidetrack down memory lane. Here I'm finally adding all the highlights and the whites. And that truly is one of the many great aspects of gouache that you can add um you can add white you don't have to worry about it in the beginning like with watercolor and the piece de resistance taking off the tape oh i love that 
And so here you can see that I'm done, or at least I consider it to be done. And I, I was quite happy with how it ended. I mean, of course, it's not perfect. As usual, I see all of my mistakes. However, I am very happy with the end result because it was so enjoyable. I loved every minute of it, every stroke. I, it's just so relaxing and so calming and so fulfilling. It is just so fulfilling to paint something. And I hope that my future child enjoys staring at it. So thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye.